Oh, hey, Raymond here. Um, not to scare you or anything, but your hard drive is going to fail, taking all of your favorite photos and videos along with it. But that's okay, because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to protect your images from your hard drive's impending death. You know, as a photographer, uh, our photos are everything. You know, without them, you're kind of nothing. So keeping them safe is very important. But also, it can be a bit confusing. Different hard drive types, capacity, speeds. The cloud, is that safe? <laughs> no worries, no worries. I'm here to break it all down for you with four simple backup strategies designed to actually grow with you. Hey, I'm Raymond Hadfield. I'm a wedding photographer and the host of the Beginner Photography Podcast. And because I use this simple backup strategy that I'm gonna share with you here, over the past 10 years of shooting professionally, I have lost exactly zero photos. And this whole thing is much cheaper than you'd think. So let's dive right into backup level one. At level one, you're probably just a casual shooter. You know, you don't make any money from your photos, but you would be devastated if you lost all of those images, right? But at the same time, you also don't wanna invest hundreds of dollars into storage just yet. Well, there's a great chance that you have either, you know, Amazon Prime or Google Drive or, or something similar. With Google Drive, you can select your edited photos and upload them to Google Drive, keeping them safe in the cloud. And same with Amazon Prime. Many don't know that Amazon um, has free photo storage included in their Prime membership. And that's pretty great because if you're already subscribed to one of these services, then this is the lowest cost way to keep your photo safe. However, it is a very manual process process, which means that it is oh so easy to forget or skip uploading a single session unless you're really diligent about it. Before you know it, you know, your computer crashes and it's been six months since you last backed up your photos. And that brings us to backup level two. At this point, you've been shooting for a few months consistently. You know, you're capturing quite a few photos several weekends per month. Maybe you're still not making any money from your photography, but it is becoming more important to you and to lose them would just crush your soul. And on top of that, your computer hard drive is starting to fill up pretty quick. So you think to yourself, oh, I know, I will go buy an external hard drive, plug that into my computer so that I can keep all my photos on there. If you move your images onto an external hard drive, then this drive will mostly be used for mass long-term storage. I recommend picking up, you know, a six or an eight terabyte hard drive as they can hold a ton of photos and they have a good storage to price ratio. I currently have two of these drives. Uh, they've been rock solid. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can buy them on Amazon. But I am sorry to say that I do have some sour news for you. If you move all of your photos from your computer's hard drive to an external hard drive and say, I don't know, somebody bumps into your desk a little bit too hard or there's a power surge or your drive reaches the end of its life, all of those photos are now poof, gone. Now, if you have a growing collection and you know it's clear that you're taking photography seriously, then it's time to invest in the right cloud backup system. This is where a service like Backblaze comes in. Backblaze is a professional grade cloud backup, but without the professional price. And the best part, no storage limits. I have more than 10 terabytes of photos, videos, podcast episodes, and Backblaze happily backs it all up. You know, that much storage would cost well over $100 per month with something like Google Drive. But for Backblaze, it's less than $10 a month. Backblaze runs on your computer in the background so that you don't have to even think about when was the last time I uploaded my photos? It is a little bit different than you know Google Drive in the sense that Google Drive is like an external hard drive. You can put whatever you want onto Google Drive and then you can just delete it off your computer if you wished. But Backblaze, Backblaze is a, it's a true backup solution. It's not meant for storage. So if you delete a photo off of your computer or your, you know, your external hard drive, then it will also be removed from Backblaze after 30 days. Now let's say worst case scenario, you're out, you're on vacation, somebody breaks in, steals all of your hard drives. That's okay because Backblaze will mail you a hard drive with all of your data on it so you can get up and running quickly because downloading 10 terabytes of data would take a long time, real long time. If you wanna check out Backblaze, I'll have a link in the description for you to sign up and you'll get a free month. And that brings us to backup level three. Having an external hard drive plugged into your computer for a year or two has served you pretty well on your photo journey so far. But I don't know if you forgot what I said in the beginning. At any moment, your hard drive is just one second away from an untimely and unexpected death. Which I guess me telling you about it now makes it not unexpected. Anyway, it is time to invest a bit more to ensure that you keep your images safe. By this point, you may have even got paid for a few shoots and you plan to do a few more. But again, you don't want to press your luck when it comes to image safety. 
Now, yes, right now, is the time to buy an additional external hard drive. Not for more storage, but to back up your original external hard drive. You may ask, why do you need to do this when you have Backblaze backing up your original external hard drive? That's a good question. There's a saying in data protection that if you have two, you have one. And if you have one, you have none. Remember, your external hard drive is the only physical copy that you have. Backblaze is an off-site backup. Honestly, I see it as just a last line of defense. In fact, I hope that I never have to contact them. If a drive fails and I lose everything local to me, Backblaze will send an external hard drive with all of my data on it. But you will have to send back the drive after you transfer the data onto a new hard drive. So if you have to have a second hard drive to transfer the data onto, I would rather just buy that drive now and skip the whole process of having to wait for the drive from Backblaze. As a professional, that would completely stop me from doing all work. I recommend that you buy a drive that is larger than the first drive. So if your first drive is a six terabyte, try to buy an eight or even a 10 terabyte drive because the first smaller drive, again, will die someday. And then you can simply make your new second larger hard drive your new primary drive. And that'll give you some headroom to grow into. If you use a Mac, I use an app called Carbon Copy Cloner. And what it does is that it clones your hard drive onto another. So once you're done editing a session and you move that folder of, you know, raw and edited photos onto your external hard drive, Carbon Copy Cloner will then clone that folder onto the new larger hard drive, creating a second copy automatically. Backblaze makes a third copy. And then since you're also shooting a bit for clients and uploading your edited JPEGs to CloudSpot to deliver your images, well, that's a fourth copy. I'll have a link in the description below for you to sign up for CloudSpot for free and get 10 gigabytes of storage, which is more than enough to get you started and keep you safe. Now this system right here, backup strategy number three is probably as advanced as 95% of you will need two drives, cloud backup. But if you want to keep growing as a photographer in business, well, then you need backup level four. At backup level four, you're shooting consistently and your images are your livelihood. To lose them would just be absolutely catastrophic. You need a more robust system than manually moving files and folders to external hard drives. And this is when you invest into a RAID system. RAID stands for a redundant array of independent disks. Ooh. Simply put, a RAID box holds, you know, multiple hard drives. Mine holds five hard drives. Now this one's a Drobo, but you know, a more popular brand is Synology. The storage capacity of the drives is kind of pooled together and they appear as just one hard drive on your computer. So when I move a folder of images onto the RAID, the RAID in the background without have you having to do anything will split that data across drives. Why? redundancy. We already know that our hard drives will fail, but this means that up to two hard drives inside of the RAID can, can go boom, die. And all of your data is still going to be safe because it's been split up among the drives inside. And when that happens, you simply pop in a new fresh hard drive and the RAID will rebuild the data onto that brand new drive as if nothing ever happened. So as you can imagine, this is not only a huge time saver, but it's a pretty strong layer of security, but it's still not good enough to protect you against a fire, a flood, a burglar. I wonder if burglars call themselves burglars. And that's why it's still incredibly important to have your photos backed up offsite with Backblaze. So there you go, four backup strategies for you to grow into guaranteeing to keep your images safe from hard drive failure or a natural disaster. Now this may seem complicated, but I promise you that, you know, you can do it. And once you set it up, you will be infinitely more protected than past generations of photographers with simply a, a shoebox full of negatives. If you have any questions about backing up your data, which level you should be at, which hard drive to buy, leave a comment below. I'd be happy to help. Talk soon.